Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to be learning Burning for You by Blue Oyster Skull, one of rock and roll classics. We're going to go through the whole rhythm part and some of the leads and riff of the song. So let's learn it. The first part is going to be the intro. At the start of the song, you have this little riff. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be play the B string on the fret number 5, play 3rd fret of the B, hammer on to 5th fret, pull off to 3rd again, play G string 5th fret, and then 3rd fret of the high E. Then the next time you're going to do the same thing, but you end it on the G string 5th fret instead of also playing the high E. So and you have to repeat that then on the background you have another guitar that while this riff is playing the only thing that that guitar is doing is playing an F chord so you have to play F three times So the F is going to be, if you don't know that chord, a bar with your first finger across all the first fret, middle finger G string second fret, pinky D string third fret, and ring finger A string third fret. Okay. So every time this riff starts, you're going uh, another guitar is going to play the F. Okay. Then the next part of the intro, move T shape up two frets. Now you're playing a G. Everything stays the exact same thing, just that it's two frets up from the F. You're playing G. Then move this up two frets. Remove your middle finger and use your the bar you're doing with your first finger now on the fret number five to also play the G string. So G. This is an A minor. Go back to F. To G. Then E minor, so middle finger, D string, second fret, and first finger, A string, second fret, all the other strings are open. Then the F, then D power chord, so, uh, and remember this shape, first finger, A string, fifth fret, and a bar with your pinky across G and D of the seventh fret, or you can play G with your pinky and uh, D with your ring finger. Remember this shape because we can, we're going to use it later. And then D, G. In the G you can do this. While this part is playing, you have another lead. Two lead parts happen on the song. One is this. That is going to be a slide to 8 on the high E string. Play 7, 8, 7. Then 9 on the G, 8 on the B. Then 10 on the G, 9 on the G, 7 on the G. Then slide to 10 on the B. Play 7 on the high E and 8 on the B. The next lead. Slide to 9 on the G. Play 8 on the B and 10 on the B. Then uh, that move we did uh, before. 7 on the uh, oh, but now it's the other way around. 7 on the G. 9 on the G. 10 on the G. Then slide to 12 on the high E. 10 on the high E. 8 on the high E and you slide to 15th fret of the high E. Sorry. And the other uh, lead is going to be. Oh, sorry. That is going to be uh, starts the same way. 8, 7, 8, 7. Then when you go to. When you go to the G on the 9th fret, play 8 on the B, hammer on to 10, and pull off to A. Then this lead. Slide to 10 on the high E, 
8 on the high E, 7 on the high E, go back to A, go back to 10, all on the high E, and then on the B you're going to play 8. Then play high E on the 10th fret, do a bend and relief, pull off from 10 to 8, and then 10 on the B, and then play 13 on the high E, 13 on the B, and 10 on the B, and the other way is 13 on the high E, 12 on the high E, 10 on the B, and then you slide to 15th fret, and that's the end. Okay, then we have the verses. When you drop this part, the verses is, uh, is going to be a reggae style rhythm, and the chords are going to be that A minor. You're going to move this shape up to the 12th fret to play E minor. Everything stays the same, just that the bar is on the 12th fret. D and A are on the 14th fret now. Now that F shape is on the 10th fret to play D. Bar is on the 10th fret. All the strings, G string is on the 11th fret with your middle finger. D with your pink, uh, sorry, yes. D with your pinky on the 12th and ring finger. It's playing the A on the 12th. Okay, so A minor, high, uh, E minor, D major, then F major, up here on the 10th fret, and then G major. That last shape is going to be first finger, A string, 10th fret, and a bar either with your ring finger or pinky across B, G, and D. And then you move this shape up to fret to play G. F, G. That way you don't have to go, go back all the way around to the start of the neck. And the rhythm is going to have a staccato. That way it sounds like a reggae rhythm. So what you're going to do is you're going to play, for example, with the A minor, play the whole chord, and you're pushing the strings, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to play it and relax your fingers. You're pushing your fingers against the fretboard to create sound. So when you play the chord, immediately after that, relax your finger like this and only touch the strings to create no sound and the rhythm is going to be down up every time with a staccato and for each chord you're going to play um, the down up two times in, uh, except for the F and the G so the, the F is going to be only one time and also the G and it repeats itself. I like to do it the Hendrix way. The Hendrix way is the same chord, just that instead of playing like this, you use the bar to play only the top three strings. The ring finger is playing the D, uh, depends on which chord you are playing, and the thumb is playing the low E. You're, you're, you don't play the A. And on the D shape, because it's major, the only thing you do is that the bar is playing the top two strings and the G and the middle finger is playing that G. Now for the pre-chorus and the chorus, well, the first part of the pre-chorus actually has the chorus. It's going to be this one. That part alone is going to be the chorus. So you're going to play A power chord and you're going to do this move. The A power chord is the same A minor shape, just that you're on, you only play the low E, A and D. So you play and then slide down to the 4th fret and go back to the 5th fret. Then 2 frets down to play F, G, 2 more frets down to play F, then go back to G 2 times. Repeat that. And that alone is the chorus, so we have the chorus now. And, and now the pre-chorus actually do, does another thing. When you do this, instead of going to the A, you go to C. And you're going to use that D shape I told you to remember, up here on the 5th fret. You're going to move it down two frets to play C. So A string is on the third fret, pinky is on the fifth fret, and ring finger uh, playing the D is on the also fifth fret. It's also on the fifth fret. Okay, so C, and then you go back to F. So. Okay, you 
go from F to G and then C move this shape down one fret to play B then play A then G then D move this shape up two frets to play E then up one fret to play F and then G and then you go to the chorus is going to be you do this and instead of going back uh, you go back to the G and instead of going to the A you go to the F and that is going to be everything for burning for you by Blue Ojo Skull hope you like it and hope it helps see you oh see you next time